Anyway, yeah. shut up, you bloke. <laughs> shut up. This is my new segment coming up. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, yes. hello. Hey, hey, shut hey, up. Hey, Have hey, a hey, listen to this. Did you up. segments? Oh. <laughs> what the bloody hell is this? Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Footy Mythbusters. Oh, hello. Uh, myth, oh. Myths and legends oh, in footy. There are hello, hundreds bro. of them. Mm. You yes. know, the classic one was you, Bill. Where, you know, <laughs> did, did, what? did you kick the ball over the wheat silo? I Which mean, I did. You didn't. I did. <laughs> did. Did you? And I kick it over you now. You're as big as a silo. But that is true. <laughs> yeah, I, is, I, that I true? is that true? Is that true? Yes, it is. Over no, the, it's right not. over it. Straight Incorrect. over it with the, with the even with the roof at the top of the silo. Never happens. Runners. Bare feet on. And you might have had a few before you. If you can have bare feet on. And I did. And I'd had had a couple, yes. Anyway, so that's the sort of thing we're going to uncover. Oh, Very artificial. <laughs> so I've got an absolute legend Ooh. of uh, Aussie, Aussie rules on the on the line here to, to either yes. dispel or um, agree with. Uh, remember, and it was on the back of the camps that we've just been talking about. I remember the Bulldogs had a particular camp or get together or something, and they all had to uh, they all had to jump out of a plane over Port Phillip Bay. I think they were actually all landing in the water. Yep, Terry uh, Wheeler. Yeah, Terry. Was it Terry Wheeler? Terry was. Anyway, we'll find out in just a moment. But Doug Hawkins was part of that. And, and Doug, I was of the understanding that one player refused to jump, a la what's happening in camps today. And, and as we welcome you, was that you? Were you the player that didn't jump? BT, JB, the duck, bouncing Billy. Yes. Hey, BT, Thanks. the end of the day, I'm the club captain. And let me just say this. Why <laughs> would I, at the age of 33... Want to jump better than ever plane at 5,000 feet? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> and, you, and you guys, let me just say this too, BT. There's three things I hate. I hate small planes. I'm petrified of heights. Mm. And we land in Port Phillip Bay, and I'm shit scared of sharks. Why would I want to do it? <laughs> Why would I want to do it? I'm the club captain. So you, did, so you didn't do it? Well, I, I didn't. Well, I wasn't going to do it. I had a couple of guys who were going to be... Uh, uh, not keen to do it. Mark Hunter, the father yeah. of Lockie Hunter. Yeah. yeah. And you're not going to believe this one. The great Tony Libertore, Libba, oh. as we knew how tough and how courageous he was, he was petrified. He, <laughs> he didn't want to do it either. So we were the last plane out. It was a, it was a rainy day. I'll never forget it. A bit like the Buddy Holly, you know, the Richie <laughs> Bell and so well. Oh. You're not going to make it. This is going to smash. Oh, not make so, it. So, so the other thing, Hawk, is you've got 40 guys jumping out at, you know, all within seconds of each other. Um, yep. And you're landing in the water. You only had one boat to pick you up. <laughs> Mate, you you're 100% right, one. BT. And I bobbed up and down for about five minutes. I was just, you know, the jaw shark, the do-do-do-do. <laughs> I was absolutely petrified and... You're dead right. We're on, we're on a, uh, I think they call it a static line, which the parachute opened automatically. Uh, there was a young boy named Shane Allen, not the boy who played at Adelaide in those two flags. Another young kid named Shane Allen. He'd never been on a plane and never landed on a plane, never landed in one. <laughs> <laughs> He'd never been in one, never landed in one. And, and I'll be honest, boys, I, I ended up doing it. I changed my mind right at the last minute because of the peer pressure. As BT said, you're part of a club, you're part of a group. I'm the club captain. I'm on the verge of playing 300 games. <laughs> Railing's about to have our third kid. I've thought myself, I don't need to do this. But being the club captain, you've got to do it. And I'll never forget this. I, I had my feet dangling out. I looked at the ocean. Yeah. And this prick pushed me in the back, and then I oh! just went straight out. <laughs> oh, geez. And did it help you? Did it help you that year, Doug? Did it help you and the team? No, it never. <laughs> <laughs> not and one what, inch. Not one inch. And was t- who was the coach at that time? Terry Will was the coach. Right. He got us to coach. He got us to um, camp at Mount Bogon one year, <laughs> um, and then I think it was at the uh, U Yangs another year. But. Uh, the idea, just a quick one too, boys. We went down to do some training at Pakenham. There was a training course there. This guy was showing us how to do it. And this is a true story. About 500 metres above the ground, the parachute collapsed in front of us. Oh. Ooh. And it just hit the ground, bang. And we were supposed to be there. Obviously, no one knows all about this, this jump. <laughs> channel 9, Channel 7, Channel 10. They all turned up and saw us. And, what are you blokes doing here? Cool. Well, we're just watching. <laughs> we're just watching this. Hey, so Nuggie. That's what happened in Packingham as well. Nuggie, was, this is not the same plane Robert Gronewegan took over oh, the no. announcement. <laughs> No, JB, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's Captain Gronowagon. Another myth. Just tell people out there, uh, 
on that Gronawagen flight, <laughs> yeah. what, what, what the announcement was uh, on the way to the States. What, what did Captain well, Gronawagen, who was one of your teammates, say over the uh, PA? <laughs> BT, allegedly. Yes, yes, I, I was I was pretty tired and very emotional at that stage. Yeah, you, were, yeah, you, were pissed, you were pissed up the back. I was pole waxed. I had a skin yeah. But anyway, mm-hmm. quickly, Hall. remember we had some really severe, severe air turbulence and it was really bouncing around. And then all of a sudden, you, and don't forget, this has gone from first class to cattle class. It's gone <laughs> whole lot. He said, no, look, this is the captain speaking, Captain Robert Grunewagen here. He said, as you can experience, there's been some severe air turbulence. He said, enjoy your oh, no. meal, put your seatbelt on, it's going to be your last for about to go to the ocean. Oh, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> right oh, that way. can't happen. Oh, beautifully oh, done, Hawk. Uh, well done. Thank well you done, very Hawk. much. That's exactly. a great news segment. What about the team photo, Grunewagen? Don't know about that one. Well, that's oh, another yeah. one, Bill. That's oh. another myth. Hey, Bristol, nice. Nicely yeah. done.